All across Africa, business analysts say the lion is on the move. Multinational companies have begun making major investments all across the continent and especially in South Africa. Walmart, for example, has announced plans to buy into African retailer Massmart, which has 290 stores. The deal has a $4 billion valuation. IBM and the Indian telecom giant Bharti Airtel have announced an estimated $2 billion deal to transform Africa's mobile communications market. Coca-Cola has announced plans to double its investment in Africa to $12 billion over the next 10 years. But those consumer goods deals are just the tip of the iceberg. We drive the consumers. We create appetite for the consumers. Susan Chabangu is South Africa's Minister of Mineral Resources. If you look at your bottles, your cans, they all come from underground. So those consumables would not be there without the commodity sector. So it becomes the core or cornerstone of the growth, not only for South Africa, but for the rest of the continent. Minister Shabangu appreciates the growth in her country's consumer goods sector. But she says that it is her sector, the commodity sector, that is the foundation of current and future economic expansion. We're looking at an auto sector now where you will need your commodities to produce those consumable goods. So your commodity sector becomes very key. And for us as South Africa, it's the core to our economy. It's the driver and the growth to our economy. For Africa.com, I'm Jacqueline Adams.